boys and girls, this is Mrs. Willard here coming from the Pilot Mountain Elementary School Art Room, which is actually not being used as an art room right now, but it is still my space. And um, you can see some of my art and our paper and things. So I am back being the art teacher at Pilot Elementary for the second grading period. This time this year, I will be here the second grading period and the fourth grading period. And I will be teaching kids in person that are here and remote learners all year. And so if you are watching this video, you are probably one of those remote learners. So I miss having you here at school, but I'm still reaching out to you to be an artist at home. So during this period of remote learning, your specials, including art, are not optional. You have to be doing your artwork. Um, I will have lessons for you every week posted at my class, my Artsy Kids class. Every student is going to be invited to that class, including you, my remote learners. And every week there will be activities in Artsy Kids that you need to be keeping up with. You will log on to Artsy Kids. It will be a class. It will be in a tab on the left-hand side of your screen. It is usually the top class because it starts with an A and that list is alphabetical unless you move it around. So it will most likely be at the top of your pages of classes. And so you need to jump on that every week. The first thing that you will see is what is called a poll question, like a window will pop open, a pop-up window. And there will be a question that will not be a right or wrong question, but an opinion question about art. And you need to answer that question while you are logged on to your Haiku login. That is my attendance. I will be able to see who logged on to Artsy Kids based on who answered that question. And every week on Monday morning, I will go and I will see who went on last week and I will see who didn't and I will pull that poll question out. So I can tell if you are attending Artsy Kids virtually. And you need to do that. Um, you need to do that every week, but um, you will have to do that six of our nine weeks to get an S, a satisfactory grade. Every week, you will need to go on and look at the lessons that you are expected to work on that week, and you will need to do those lessons. Three times between now and Christmas, you need to message me through Haiku Messenger. You need to reach back to me, and you need to show me pictures of the work that you have been doing so that I can see that you are actively creating art while you are at home. So if you log in and answer those poll questions and message me and show me your work, evidence of learning three times between now and Christmas, you will receive an S for your art grade for the second grading period. If you do some of that, but not that much, you will get an N. That means you need improvement, okay? If I do not hear from you anymore after this week, you will get a U, unsatisfactory. Because remember, you are required to be doing these lessons while we are at home. I want them to be fun. I want them to be things that keep you busy and active and creative. It's not meant to be a drag, but if you were at school, you would need to be doing things every week in art. And just because you're at home doesn't mean that that is not still the case. So again, I will miss you, miss seeing you, but I need to hear from you every at least every two weeks with work that you are doing, okay? So I, for the first time this year, also will be sending out progress reports. So if you aren't jumping on and doing your work, you will get a progress report home reminding you of what you need to be doing to be satisfactorily completing your art lessons. So let's get on to happier things. So, the things that I can expect you to have at your house are pencils with erasers. You need pencils and erasers. You need a package of crayons. 
you need a glue stick and you need a pair of scissors and you also need paper. You can use lined notebook paper if that is all you have. I would much prefer if you would have even just plain blank white printer paper. That will work better for the lessons, okay? So if you can come up with other supplies, you can certainly use them. I don't wanna limit you to that. I would like it if you could have some markers if you could have some colored pencils, if you could have a tray of watercolor paints, I think that will just make it a lot more interesting and diverse materials for you to be using and that you will enjoy it better. But again, you can get by with just those few basic things that I showed you. So if you were here the first week, the week of October 26th, in at school, what you would be doing is creating a folder that is to store your artwork in. I'm gonna be going around to each classroom in what's called art on a cart. And so I need a way for you to keep your artwork together, whether you are here or at home. Um, if you have a folder, you are welcome to use whatever folder you have at home. If you need a folder, you can come get a folder in the office. And I will put about 10 pages of that white printer paper in it so that you can take it home. The first week, your task, just like if you were at school, is you need to take your folder and you need to put your name, and your classroom teacher's name. You all still have an assigned classroom teacher. You need to put that on your folder. And then you are going to decorate the front of your folder. You can actually do the back as well. You could do the inside as well with a picture artwork of your choice that is school appropriate. And by now, I think we all know what that means. So you can use any of the materials and supplies that you have to decorate your folder. Every week you will go on to Artsy Kids and there will be assignments for you to work on. And you can use paper that you have or you can use the paper that comes in the folder. When you get finished, you need to put everything back in the folder. The folder is serving as kind of a home for all of your, your, did your artwork, okay? And you will be sending me pictures of things, like I said, at least three times during the, the grading period. You can send me things every week. If you email me through Haiku Messenger, I will respond to you every time. So I like hearing from you, but you need to definitely respond back to me and show me what you're doing three times, okay, to get credit for remote learning. So that is gonna be what you're up to. Um, we will be getting back in touch with you at the end of the grading period. This will come back to school and so that I can actually see it filled with your artwork. You can also put in things that you've done that are not your assignments that you just want me to see. So this is gonna be your storage home, kind of like your sketchbook if you've been here with me before, but it's a little bit bigger and more flexible than a sketchbook in the way that you use it. So please keep coming on, please do your work. Um, I look forward to hearing from you and I hope you are staying healthy and safe and having a good remote learning experience. Bye-bye.